Let me start by saying there's a lot of things that I really like about this uh, trinocular microscope. Uh, for instance, it comes with a lot of uh, nice equipment for doing work with a microscope. I really like the stage which has calipers on it which will hold your slide and allow you to move it with knobs underneath so that you can get a precise location. It has four objectives uh, starting with the 4x and all the way up to 100x and it comes with several different eyepieces so that with different levels of magnification. Right now I have a cell phone attached to it with the supplied attachment. And I like looking at things uh, through uh, that better than with my eyes actually because I get a lot of floaters in my eyes that show up. So uh, I can use the state movable stage to bring things on. Now it also has the what I call the third eye uh, which attaches to a computer and one of the things that has troubled me a little bit is that the focal distance on the computer is completely different from the eyepieces and it makes it a little difficult sometimes to uh, get things into focus particularly at the higher levels of magnification on the computer screen. But on the computer screen with the program, you can uh, type in information about what you're doing or you can do drawings on there. So it has a lot of advantages in that way. I do need to make a cautionary note. There is a black pin here. If you screw that out, the entire top of the microscope will fall off and there's no mention of that in the instructions. Some other things about it, uh, there's an adjustment down here that moves things up and down that tend to interfere with the movement of the stage and I haven't exactly figured that out and there's no explanation of it in the uh, instruction manual. And that's one of my chief problems with this microscope is that the instruction manual is very, very incomplete and uh, difficult to interpret, shall we say.